Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News, the show that may or may not be five minutes. Today in the news, score another victory for Game Pass. So as I've said before, despite what Sony may claim, Xbox Game Pass and, and systems like it work. They get more eyes on games, especially now that there are like 50 games a week coming out. They're more affordable than buying every title you want on launch. And more importantly, they actually sell games after they leave Game Pass. And that's why it's so interesting that the studio boss of the Yakuza series credits services like Game Pass with its success. Almost the entire Yakuza series, eight titles in total, have been available on Game Pass since 2020, barring some temporary removals. This summer, the same library of games was added to PlayStation Plus Premium and Extra Libraries. Masayoshi Okiyama added, Personally, I think subscriptions like Game Pass, allowing people to play the previous games over the years, have contributed largely to the increase in audience. And all of this is helping with the run-up to Like a Dragon, which I've played, it's super fun, and a lot of people are excited for, and I understand why. But I also understand why a lot of the devs who use Game Pass say frequently how good it worked out for them. It makes a lot of sense. And all this does, in the end, is, is really just make executives like those over at Sony who refuse to even acknowledge thinking about day one launch titles as being something they want to put on premium... It, like I said, it makes them look foolish, it makes them seem disconnected with their fans and what would be the most consumer-friendly option for them, and I think that speaks for itself. In other news, Activision Blizzard's attempts to stop the discrimination lawsuit against them have failed. And no, I'm not talking about the most recent one we covered, that was a whole other can of worms. We're still talking about the original one from July 20th, 2021 where California's Department of Fair Employment and Housing filed a lawsuit against Activision Blizzard following a two-year investigation that alleged the existence of a frat boy workplace culture which saw women abused and harassed at the company for years. Yep, this is the Cosby Suite one, the one with all sorts of heinous sexual allegations and women only getting promotions if there wasn't a man available and just, like general discrimination based on ethnicity and all sorts of stuff. Just a mess. Well, their appeal to the courts to have the suit dismissed have failed. As reported by Axios, a representative for Activision Blizzard described the ruling as disappointing, but still abide by the stance that, in its rush to file a lawsuit, the department had disregarded its own rules. Both parties are now reportedly requesting for the trial, due to begin in February of next year, to be postponed. So it appears this story, much like Bobby Kotick, won't be going anywhere anytime soon. And then, in your favorite world of NFT news... Apple wants in. Yep, that's right. It looks like Apple is opening up its app store for NFT sales. But just like NFTs themselves, they're doing it in the scammiest way possible. Apps may use in-app purchase to sell or sell services related to non-fungible tokens, NFTs, such as minting, listing, and transferring. Apps may also allow users to view their NFTs, provided that NFT ownership does not unlock features or functionality within the app. So let's really quickly look at the fine print here, because what they're saying is, if it's just an image, if it's like something you can look at, cool, enjoy, have fun. But if it in any way does anything to the game you're playing, if it's like a cool looking gun skin that you can then use in the game, they're taking 30% of that. So if you think your NFT is worth anything, they're taking 30% of that. Whether you transfer it or buy it or whatever, they're taking a cut. So, congrats. Despite everything I've ever said about NFTs, the crypto bros managed to get Apple involved. So, like the monkey paw it is, I hope you enjoy. Speaking of enjoying, I hope you all will go and enjoy some YouTube.com slash Cox Clips. We've got all sorts of fun things over there right now. My goodness. Uh, Unusual Findings is over there. Plague Tale will be uploaded soon. Some more uh, goofy Final Fantasy XIV stuff. All sorts of things. I hope you enjoy. We're going to keep it going. There's, uh, you know, shorts and VODs and the whole thing. It's it's a blast over there. But uh, that is it for me. Thank you so much. And I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News.